Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite <laughs> the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. I feel like I haven't talked about celebrities in a long time. Before talking about historical facts, let me talk about this first. Rapper Yi So was recently featured in Vogue Taiwan. If you thought that this part of the world was immune to occult elite symbolism, think again. Media conglomerates such as Vogue make sure this is global. On the cover, Yi So has one hidden by a strategically placed balloon. Also, his weird hand, made from wicker, or something, hints at dehumanization. This picture is all about mind control. He so's head enters a portal, representing dissociation, as he is surrounded by chains, representing MK slavery. Everything about this picture hints at a dissociated mind, and the chains confirm that this is all about mind control. Here, Eso is cracking and disintegrating, which represents the fragmenting of the mind of an MK slave. As usual, the one I signed was all over the place this last month. In fact, I can only post a fraction of the pictures I come across every month. Despite this fact, only a small minority of people realize that their favorite celebrities are actively showing their allegiance or submission to a psychopathic elite. Dua Lipa and Megan The Stallion recently released a video and it's extremely symbolic, video about it soon. This is the pic seen on Spotify to promote the song. Dua Lipa makes a one-eye sign while wearing a horned hat. Meanwhile, Megan throws a subtle yet obvious devil's hand sign. They're really trying to make Satanism cool and sexy. This is the promotional poster for the Weekend in Doha Cat Tour. The image is all about the occult elite controlling the world with its one-eye system. There's a new Marvel series on Disney+. Plus. This oh-so-clever one-eye sign on this poster indicates that the elite has approved it. The Netflix series Squid Game was all about the occult elite. Appropriately enough, nearly every actor who starred in this series took part in highly symbolic photo shoots. This is Yung Ho Yi in an ID magazine, doing a blatant one-eye sign. Also, she is holding an eyeball, to make sure you understand, this is all about elite symbolism. ID magazine says that the out-of-body issue is all about the new and the now. Evidently, new artists who want to be famous now must absolutely show submission. This is Rosalia. She's an occult elite pawn. In 2014, Taylor Hawkins formed a group called Birds of Satan. In 2022, he starred in a movie called Studio 666, where he gets killed as a blood sacrifice. One month after the release of that movie, Hawkins dies in bizarre circumstances. On the day of his death, Dave Grohl's concept album, Dream Widow, is released, and it's all about occult rituals and blood sacrifices. Was Hawkins' death planned from the get-go? Difficult to say. The forces and the symbols displayed in Studio 666 are not fictional, they are real. Furthermore, they are connected to real rituals and real sacrifices that have been happening for centuries, often around important dates such as the vernal equinox. And maybe that's exactly what happened on March 25th. 
Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learn something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Okay, now let's talk about history. Pyramids in Bosnia Investigator, Semiraz Manajic, began excavations near the town of Vizoko in 2005. Three mountains turned out to be the oldest pyramids in Europe. The age of the structures exceeds 12,000 years. The pyramids, built by Atlanteans or Hyperboreans, are dedicated to the moon, the sun and the dragon. Mountains are composed of concrete blocks, with paths paved with paving stones. The pyramids are connected by underground passages in which rune inscriptions and stone spheres have been found. The excavations have caused a scandal in the scientific world of Europe. Allocated public funds were withdrawn. The discoverers of the Bosnian pyramids were declared frauds. Only geologists and archaeologists from Russia recognized the artificial origin of the constructions and returned the excavations to their scientific status. In Iraq, 750 meters above sea level, is the Schneider Cave, famous among archaeologists. Its uniqueness is that the cultural layers are mixed with layers of silt, sand, shells and small pebbles. And this in a cave that has never been a seabed. Archaeologists have discovered four disasters that befell not only the cave itself, but also the man who lived in it. What did the Mayans say? We are the fifth civilization living on Earth, and the previous ones were destroyed by cataclysms. In the year 2000, miners near Nica, Mexico, were exploring nearly 1,000 feet down for new ore deposits. What they accidentally discovered was a chamber with some of the most massive selenite crystals on Earth. The chamber in the limestone was ideal for the relatively rapid and massive growth of the crystals. The temperature was 137 degrees Fahrenheit, or 58 Celsius, with 99% humidity. These conditions require scientists to wear air-conditioned and fully enclosed suits to explore and study the crystal caves. What do you think? What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.